Hello everyone and welcome to Zudlow's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making homemade pancakes. And I thought about the kids and back to school and we're going to be making mini pancakes so they can just eat them on the go or for a quick breakfast. So it's going to be easy, simple, only a few ingredients and I have my little recipe on my little sheet here. If you would like to, if you're interested in buying some of these sheets, I have them on uh, my little website if you want to look in the description below You get five of them for I believe four dollars. So, you know, just just saying um, And it's simple. It's all-purpose flour baking powder salt sugar milk egg and butter That's it. That's all it is and I have this here to pour in the mixture and then that's how we're gonna make our little uh, mini pancakes So without further ado, let's get to cooking Okay, so first things first, I have this measuring cup here. It's about a big four cup measuring cup. And the reason why I have this is because that is what we're going to put our mixture in. So what we're gonna do, I need one and a half cups of flour. So I'm going to move our flour around. Okay, and I'm gonna dump this right in here. And then I need a half a cup. Just like that. So we want our measurements to be kind of be precise. All right, and then we're gonna do a tea, um, two and a half teaspoons of, oh, this one's not open, baking powder. Sorry, I grabbed the wrong one. So, we're gonna do, it's a tablespoon, this is a teaspoon. So, one, two, and a half. Of baking powder. All right, so that one's done. Then I have the salt here, and we're gonna add in a half a teaspoon of salt. Oh, of course, that one's not gonna fit. Okay. That's good. There's our half a teaspoon. And then we're gonna need one tablespoon one tablespoon of our sugar. As you can see, it's not really sweet. It's only a tablespoon of sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and close all this real fast. Okay. So there we go. I'm just gonna take, mix this up a little bit. So now we have our dry mixture. Now let's get started on our wet mixture that we're going to add to this. So into our measuring cup, I'm going to measure out one and one fourth cup of milk. So here is one cup and I'm just going to add it into here. So here's one. And then a fourth. Okay. I'm going to add in our melted butter. And then I'm going to take our egg. I'm going to crack it in there. And then I'm going to grab a fork. And I'm just going to go ahead. up and that right in as well then I'm gonna add a few more ingredients 
that I didn't list on our my paper. I'm going to add in some cinnamon. I'm going to add in vanilla powder, just a little bit, kind of get that vanilla flavor. So it's going to be like a vanilla, cinnamon vanilla pancake. And then I'm going to add in just a little bit of vanilla extract, just maybe a little more. Okay. Now, you can add whatever you want to this. You could add in any kind of extract you want. You could make almond pa uh, pancakes. You can make, uh, what else do they have? You can make, you want to add banana flavor. Then we're just going to go ahead and mix this together. Um, banana flavor pancakes. You can add anything you want to this. Um, caramel. Something that just, you know, makes it really good. I decided to do cinnamon and vanilla because that's kind of what we did with our waffles as well. We're going to really mix this up. What we did for our waffles. So, definitely kind of going on the same page here. And then, when we make these, you can add anything to them. You could add chocolate chips. You can add in berries. You can do the normal... Um, you know, just, um, what do you call it, syrup and, and butter. You can even do, I know when we used to buy, when I was younger, we bought the, the frozen mini pancakes. I would always do, like, cinnamon sugar or, like, brown sugar on there. Those were always good. So, our mixture is pretty, pretty well. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop. But like I said, you could you could do anything. And you don't even have to add in the vanilla and the cinnamon and kind of use it as a blank canvas if you want. But I like flavor. So I'm going to add this to my little squirt bottle. And this is how we're going to make our little pancakes. Now you don't have to do this. I'm hoping that this works. It does look a little... chunky. So I'm hoping that it could squirt out, but if not, I have an alternative. But I'm going to fill it like that. So I'm just going to use this, and this is how we're going to make our little pancakes. Right in here. And also, if you want, you could make the, the dry ingredients. You can put it in um, like a mason jar or a bag or even like one of like these containers and label it pancake mix and then you just add in you know the milk the egg the butter and then you can have uh, home homemade pancakes anytime you want that's easy and simple that way you don't have to go buy the pancake mix you don't have to go buy you know the the, the boxes and you can make a lot of it so you can keep it on hand for you know months which is great so now what we're going to do is i'm going to turn the camera and we're going to start making our pancakes so here is our little skillet that we're going to be cooking these on and what we're going to do is i just turned it on a medium heat and i'm going to let this heat up and then we're going to put some butter on here i have a little bit of butter that we're going to just kind of go on there and then we're going to do our pancakes. I'm going to grab a plate so when they are ready to, when they're done, we can put them on the plate. So I'm going to put this here. So that way when we flip them and they're ready, we could just transfer them to here. And actually, I can even do this. So I'm going to take the butter. And I'm going to just rub it on the pan like so. That way it's all nice and melted. That way when we put our pancakes down, let's see if this works. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay. This is what we're going to do. Well, that's not completely round, but that's okay.
There we go. And we're just going to make little pancakes like that. And we're going to let these cook for about two to three minutes on each side, just so if they're nice and golden brown, you could really see when they start to form because they're going to get bubbles. And then that's when they're ready to flip. They do smell good though. This batter smells really good. You can see kind of how it's puffing up, which is which is good. That means the bottom is is you know solidifying, so it can you know you can turn it over. But oh, you could smell the cinnamon. You could smell the vanilla. Now, like I said, I love cinnamon. I love cinnamon. It's it's definitely. Um, it just, I don't know, it reminds me of fall, it reminds me of like applesauce, it reminds me of apples, like nice cinnamon apples or like a apple pie. Oh, delicious. So, let me put this one on first, let's see. As you can see, I don't know, I mean, you probably can't see that, but the, it is starting to form little bubbles. So we're going to go ahead and try to flip this with this, there we go, look at that. As you can see, they just slide right, what oh, that was. Look at that. That, one, that looks good. That looks delicious. Let me kind of move these. Add a little, little more. Oh, they're going to touch. Yeah, that's okay. And then we're just going to see. Look at that nice and done and crispy so we're gonna, I'm gonna take these off I'm gonna go ahead and get these off I am gonna add a little more butter to the pan just, a, just like that and go ahead and make some more There we go. I'm going to add some more butter. Okay, and then I have my pancakes here. My pancake mint. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it out. Now, I forgot to mention, in this phase right here, you can go ahead and add whatever kind of toppings you want. Like, if you want to add the chocolate chips, you can go ahead and add chocolate chips. I made those a little bit bigger, but it's fine. You know, you can just sprinkle the chocolate chips on there. Actually, I think. All right, so these are the pancakes that we made. Look at this. Look how good that looks. Does that not look delicious? So, like I said, these are the mini pancakes that we made. Some of them are like me, not even medium size, but look at that. Such a small pancake, which is good because, like I said. These are these could be for the kids. Pop them in the microwave with a little cinnamon sugar, or pop them in the microwave and then you know make uh, use syrup. Delicious. I'm gonna try it like this just to kind of see how it tastes alone. And yeah, let's just get started. Mmm. Oh, that's good. You could taste the vanilla, and you can taste the cinnamon. It's not overpowering either. Um, and it's they're not sweet. They're not sweet at all. Because we only added a tablespoon of sugar. So, it's not sweet. I'm gonna grab some syrup. So I grabbed cinnamon sugar and some syrup. And what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna take a little bit, try not to Mmm. Mmm. 
and it's a nice sweetness with the with the syrup. And even this is sugar free, but it still adds that bit of sweetness, which is delicious. Then I'm gonna try it. Oh, this is not even open. Well, guess what? I'm gonna open it. You don't need one like this either. You could just mix cinnamon and sugar. But this is easy and simple, so that's what I'm gonna do. And what we used to do as a kid, put it on like that, and then the like you know crunch up, and the warmness will like kind of get everything together, kind of have it stick to the pancake, just like that. All right, so let's try this. Mmm. Delicious. Simple, easy, delicious. So good. And then what you do, you could take all of these and put them in little reusable bags. Actually, I have one right here. You know, put them in, in here. We'll do, we'll just say four. You know, you can put four in here, here, seal it up, put it in the freezer. That way, easy breakfast, take them out and pop them in the microwave. Add some syrup or cinnamon sugar or even chocolate chips, let them melt on there. And you have an easy breakfast. And it's not, to me, it's not that high in, in sugars or anything. We only added a tablespoon of sugar, like I said, and only a little bit of syrup or cinnamon sugar. So there you go. Simple, easy, and delicious. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I hope you all make these this recipe and let me know how it is in the comments below. And if again, if you would like these little recipe cards, uh, the link will be in the description below. They are, I believe, $4 and you get five of them. Digital, it's a digital product. All you gotta do, you buy it, you download it, it's yours forever. So, you get five of them and they're all different layouts. So, if you want, want one of those, just go ahead in the description below. And that does it for this episode of Zedlow's Kitchen. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you all stopping by. It warms my heart. Remember to have a wonderful day. Remember to be the best you can be. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!